All right, welcome back, everybody. It is January 2021 as we are recording this video right now. That means we are approaching the 20th birthday of the original Xbox. <laughs> Which just had to make appearance. You know why? It's her 20th birthday, too. Well, it'll be, she'll actually be 21 she'll this be year. She'll be 21 this year. She is legal to drink in the States. Yeah, you can well, party people, in the States, too. Yeah. Yeah. Could you please? Yeah, stay down. This whole year, we're going to really focus on the original Xbox. We're mm. not going to be the only thing. It's not going to be the only no, thing that we do. No, we're not going to be do. Retro Rivals Xbox channel. No. no. But we're making it a point to play a lot of original Xbox stuff. Yeah. And to give it a little bit more love than we previously yeah. had. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the more games I play on that console, the more, the more I love, you love it. it. Yeah. So, so what we're going to do today is we're actually going to take a look at the launch titles. Yep. For the original Xbox. Mm -hmm. There were 19 of them. I do not have them all. No. I only have uh, seven. seven. I only have seven in my collection. Good camping. Thank you. <laughs> what we did is we put them all in. We played them. Some of them we played before. Yeah. But we actually want to play them, have a fresh memory on what we're going to talk about. Yeah. And we went from our least favorite to our most favorite. We went from my least favorite to my most favorite. Pretty much. Because I'm the queen. I don't know of what. <laughs> Something. So let's get to the first game. First game is Dark Summit. Dark Summit is a snore. Sno no, no, no. Dark Summit. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Summit is, is a, a snowboard. Is a snore. Dark Summit is a snowboarding game. It's not like a normal snowboard. Why can't I say snow? I <laughs> live in like Canada. Canada. You snore. Know how to it's say a snore. It. It's a snore like game. It's the fucking first word you learn in Canada. Snow. So this is not what you thought it was going to be. No. You thought it was going to be more the Olympic style snowboarding. I didn't know. I just heard we were going to play a snowboarding just, game. Just, I, like I said before, look at the cover and you thought that was going to be the Olympic style. I don't know. With all... Her, her boobs all hanging out? I'm telling you, if that was the Olympic attire, no, the Olympic... Yeah, attire is right, because that's clothes. Is that what you were... Uniform, in? no. <laughs> yeah, I really want to say it. Can I say it? Say it. <laughs> Snowboarding uniform. <laughs> like uniform. baseball uniform, fireman uniform. Am I the only one that's seen this? Did I make that up? No, I don't think I did. I've lost my whoop whoop train of thought here. This game is pretty short. Mm -hmm. It uh, I don't know how long it takes. You can go through this in one day easily. Um, the campaign or the story that goes to it is not great. I want to call it silly. Silly. Let's call it silly. Silly. And Wait. the mountain that you're snowboarding down is should be closed. Full, full of weird obstacles. Yeah. Um, Pits that are full of like, like toxic waste. Yes! And, like, it's just crazy. So you're basically just doing these, going down the mountain, doing tricks and starting or trying to accomplish tricks or uh, certain objectives they yes. give you. Yes. And while sometimes guards are chasing you or sometimes or like yeah. snow patrol people or whatever. Yeah. I spent a lot of time in the toxic waste. Which you aren't meant I died. great at this game. I wasn't great at it, but I still had fun with it. <laughs> if you like the snowboarding or skateboarding style of games, you might want to pick this up. It's dirt cheap. It is It's dirt really cheap, cheap but it's a one-day playing, probably done yeah. game. But not bad. Not bad. The next game was a little lower on your list than it was on my list. It was. Because I, I, didn't, I wasn't good at it. I was just like, I don't want to play this anymore. Take your controller good, back. Good, good at it wasn't... It's not even... Yeah. No. That doesn't even... You were like, what? I was shit at it? Yeah. Yeah, I was. We have Dead or Alive 3. What? Can, can I ask a question? Why does a game 
That is a launch title for Xbox. Start at three. Well, it's because the other two were on probably Dreamcast or whatever. Pop like, it up. So she did, obviously didn't check it out. I feel She's just like asking not. questions to the I camera. I feel at like this point. not. I feel like after that they had a Dead or Alive two on Xbox. No, they. It's like a re-release. Yes, it's like a remaster. It's just not a remaster, but kind of like that. I, I just assumed if they were going to start somewhere, they would have started at one and remastered it for the Xbox and then moved on from there, but they came out with three. Obviously, it was launched somewhere else, maybe. I... With, I don't know. I actually enjoyed this game quite a bit, and I think it actually still holds up and looks pretty damn good today. And guys, I played fighting games when I was younger. One of my favorite fighting games was Street Fighter. I played the shit out of it. We loved it. I was always Chun-Li when we played. It was on... You weren't there, so shut up. I didn't say anything. I can see you shaking your head in my peripheral vision. I'm like, anyways, I wasn't great at it. And, but I enjoyed watching Scott play it, playing it. He was pretty good at it. I was all right. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Uh -huh. You looked this up and you said this was an Xbox exclusive. That's what it said. I don't know if I believe you. It well, doesn't even it doesn't... have the only on Xbox. Somewhere. I know, but it said it was exclusive. So, who am I to question Wikipedia? Can, oh yeah, because Wikipedia is written on everything. Wikipedia is written by people. I know. Just like by can, the general public. You could change need, anything in Wikipedia. I need some information. Can people correct Jen in the comments, please? <laughs> now, this game probably would be last on everybody's list. But we but had fun with we it. We had a lot of fun with it. Um, you have 4x4 four four EVO 2. Uh, this game, there's not a lot to it. But if you like driving trucks and jeeps and everything, like in mud and snow and, and those kinds of races there, like you, you can race in the desert and in the snow, like in the Arctic. And yeah. There's 120 different trucks. They all photorealistic trucks. Uh, we put this in. We actually had a lot of fun with we it. We did have a lot of fun. We just, we just kind of played of races. open world at first and just drove it around. We, yeah, we did that just to kind of get a feel get for a feel it. how yeah. everything handles. And then we started jumping in and doing races. Um, This ranked higher on my list than yours because I was better at it. You were. I was better at it. And I am shit at racing games and I was better at this. Not by much. But I was. <laughs> and that's, I, I was and much. that's what counts. It's not much of a game. But if you want to put a, uh, if you like racing games and stuff like that, throw this sucker in. You can kill him two, three hours. Oh yeah, easily. And you. Can... And this is like, I I picked this up for two dollars. I know it was super super cheap. And we um, killed um probably three hours one night, and we did. I will put it in again because oh, it yeah. was fun. You yeah. can pick different locations. You can pick different weather scenarios. You can pick uh, time of day. What they did take out of this one, though, that was in the original, the uh, 4x4 Racing Evo, the first one, was that you couldn't have a pitch black or a night mode because it lowered the frame rate. And it was just not <clears throat> easily fixable, so they took it out of this game. But I didn't know, so it didn't matter to me. This next game I played, you did not touch. I played, or he played while I watched, while trying to play another game, while he would constantly fuck me up with bitching at this game. No. You would bitch every now and again no. out loud, yes. You would say no. things out loud and I'm like, I'd rip my headphones off and go, are you talking to me? And I'd be like, no. She's just blaming me for dying in another game. Odd World, Munch's Odyssey. What a strange little game. It is a strange little game. It's the third Odd World game. It follows Abe's Odyssey. Now, this one here is two characters. You have Abe, and then you have Munch. Munch is like this weird little, almost fish-looking Yeah, dude. yeah, I remember seeing him. It's a platforming game. Munch, what is the purpose of this game? I don't know. It's <laughs> just Abe is trying to save Munch because he was captured and he was put in like a science facility where they do animal testing and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Kind of like that. So yeah. that's that's where he is. So in the whole process, you're platforming your way out, trying to figure out ways to get out of this. Um, Can I say why it was distracting for me? The most notable things in this game, if you've ever played it, are the mechanics in which the character lifts another character <laughs> in a very <laughs> sexual manner. And the fact that's that- That's Abe. Abe picks up Abe picks up everybody by the ass, two ass cheeks, and like and pelvic thrusts back. up, and then 
heaves them over a, a wall a or wall whatever. or into a hole yeah. i was like what the hell is going yeah. on in this game yeah. also your character could have a wheelchair that's munch munch little fish guy now he sucks on land but he's really good in the water but if you get the wheelchair and put him in the wheelchair because he's yeah, awesome oh. all fish have wheelchairs they should they should they should I haven't finished this game yet, but I think I'm going to finish I it. I think you it's should. It's only about, uh, I think about a nine hour game to complete. So I don't know if I'm even halfway yet. It was a strange little game. It's strange, But every time I turned fun. to look at the screen, I was like, what it's the hell is going on? Graphically still holds up pretty it's decent. It's not bad. There. Still it's not holds bad. Up. I was pretty impressed with it, I, actually. I was not expecting much. Ooh. So I think that's why I was pleasantly su surprised. Next game on the list is a party game. It is a party game. You have Fusion Frenzy. Yes. Non-stop party game action. You this can have was one fun. to four players on this yeah. game. Uh, me, you and, uh, me, you and Dennis played this yes, game one did. night there. So it's a bunch of mini games where we get to compete against each other. I was really good at first until everybody else learned what they were doing and then I was shit. Which is pretty much Accurate. regular day. Yeah. <laughs> getting better and better all the time though. It's yeah, there's there's no like real campaign. Like it's just a bunch of mini games. It's it's fun. Everybody You're not gonna buy competes. this game as a single player experience. I don't think that would be any fun playing against the computer no, because when no. anytime the fourth player would be an AI computer character, it just wasn't as good. But yeah, this, as a party mode game, great game. This this game is also uh, backwards compatible all the way up to the Xbox Series X. It is. So, I do believe you can buy it digitally for probably $9.99. I assuming. think that's what it was, yeah. Around that. I don't think, I don't know if I paid more than that for a physical copy. I know. So, it was really, really good. All right, we have NHL Hits 2002. You've heard us talk about this a couple of times on the channel because yes. this is kind of new to us because I was more of an NHL, just a regular NHL game. Yes. I play all the NHL games. Um, Dennis is huge on NHL 94. Yeah. And, and he, I don't know if he's played anything past that, but when we put <laughs> this in, he actually had a blast with it. And we've, we've had a few talks or we've had a, a, a drunken discussion here. We did, and it was the uh, best, yeah. and we barely talked about NHL hits. Yep. So, but this, I don't know what This game is a three-on-three three arcade-style hockey game yeah. where hits, literally, you need to hit everything that moves. And I did. That's how you win. Yeah. You did not like it at first until you became the goon. Because, no, and I, and I... And then you actually started scoring goals. I did start scoring yeah. goals. I have never played a hockey game. Never? No. This is your first hockey game. That's my first hockey game. And I... you're Canadian? <laughs> I know, right? Anyways, it is what it is. I never played a hockey game. I played lots of uh, no. golf games. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's what Canadians do in the off season. I was just playing off season games. I never played a hockey game. We highly recommend we if you do. like like we're not real big on sports games, but we highly recommend picking this up and playing yeah. it. Absolutely have to play it co-op if you can. Exactly. Coach co-op, couple people there. It, it, it's a blast. It is a blast. It is a blast. And the last game I don't think will surprise anybody. No. But obviously it is Halo. Halo, um, this I think is the... Every time I hear this game. I, my face hurts because I want to smile so much. This I love it. is this our first game that we played through ever? No. No. Because I feel like was River City. It Girls? was River City Girls. Okay. Yes. So this was our second co-op game. Yeah. And uh, we played it on the original Xbox. And I know that's going to be surprising to a lot of people because honestly, up until 2020, I didn't play a whole lot of games. I've gained a whole lot of knowledge over the last year. Yeah, you, and a, you've and a really gotten into it here. Great appreciation yeah. of gaming in general. We, we're not going to talk a whole lot about this. Everybody knows Halo. Halo's awesome. Oh, yeah. We, and you we guys, had an absolute blast to the point that we, I, we have to play number two together. We do. We have to play we number do. two together. Do you know what? I, I have had a lot of single player moments that I've had a lot of fun playing games. But oh my god, when we play games together, those are some of those my. Are some of the best. Times. Those are some of the best times. That couch co-op games. I, you know, every this 
generation is all about their online gaming. Yeah. Like the couch co-op thing, it was the best, and I would it really wish is. they would bring back more. I do too. Couch co-op games. I don't care great. what anybody says. Like, you can game online, and you feel like you're not having a single player experience, but it's not the same as having yeah. that person in the room with you, same, having the yeah. same level of hype and excitement yeah. you are, and like being to physically being able to high five when you finally get your goddamn armadillo to the end, and <laughs> you're like, yeah! I think it's a warthog. Warthog, armadillo, <laughs> shit on wheels, crap on ice, vehicle. Anyways, we had a blast with it. Had he been playing in another room, it wouldn't have been quite the same experience. Oh, no. No. Not at all. Not at all. It was the, like, every time he got frustrated, that, and then now, I would fucking laugh. This, it was great. This, I think, would be huge in, like for people to have LAN parties. You know what I mean when yes. I say LAN parties? Yes, yes. Where you have all the, multiple Xboxes all in the same, in room, the same room, multiple yep. TVs. Uh -huh. You could have, I don't know how many people. You can look it up. Mm. I don't know if it's 16 or whatever. A LAN party. LAN, a LAN party, and you put everybody. I've heard lots of guys will fill their garage full of TVs and that Xboxes. That would be so much fun. Yeah, that would be. We amazing. need to have a LAN party once it's over. Yeah. So that's the end of our episode for the exclusive title. So I'm looking forward to the next phase of it, which is we get to pick and choose games. Yes. Maybe lean more into the exclusive t uh, that, exclusive titles. Yeah, that would be cool. And uh, I hope to do at least one episode a month where we focus strictly on Xbox games. I'm thinking probably between three and five games, depending on what we can crunch in there. Yeah. Like, uh, it I'd like to see you do some reviews on some of these yep. games, maybe, or some other Xbox games you played. Well, I'd love to do a review. Really... I'd love to do a review, but I'm not that great at I will sit with you in the <laughs> review and you can talk to me and we'll talk to the people. We'll try. I think that would be a good All idea. Right. You want to cheers this out? Alright, till next time guys. Game on! Couch co-op and game on. <laughs>